Here's the brutal truth about why you are stuck at 80K while other data engineers are making 180. You are still thinking in rows when the entire industry has moved on without you into columns. I'm not talking about some theoretical computer science concept. I'm talking about the fundamental storage architecture that separates junior engineers from senior Databricks engineers earning six figures. Right now, there are two types of data engineers in the market. Those who understand why Netflix can analyze 200 billion events in seconds and those who are still waiting four hours for their ETL jobs <laughs> to finish. The difference, column-based storage architecture. And if you don't understand this concept, you are competing for junior roles while senior engineers are getting promoted around you. I've analyzed salary data from 500 data engineering positions. And here's what I found. Engineers who can explain the difference between row-based and column-based storage in interviews are getting offers 60% higher than those who can't. But here's what's really happening. Companies aren't just paying for technical knowledge. They're paying for engineers who understand why this architecture choice can save them millions in compute costs. The 100K storage architecture gap is huge. Let me show you exactly what separates your 80K junior engineer from 180K Databricks engineer. And it all comes down to how they think about data storage. The junior engineer mindset, row-based thinking. Most junior engineers learned databases with MySQL or Postgres. They think in rows because it's how traditional OLTP systems work. When they need customer data, <laughs> they grab entire rows, customer ID, name, email, address, phone, purchase history. This works fine for small data sets, but here's where junior engineers get stuck. They try to apply the same thinking to analytics workloads with billions of records. They write queries that scan entire tables, putting unnecessary columns in there, burning through compute resources when they don't need to. I've seen junior engineers run queries that cost $500 in Snowflake credits just to get one simple count. Why? Because they're thinking in rows when they should be thinking in columns. The senior engineer reality, they're working on column-based architecture. Senior Databricks engineers understand that analytics workloads are fundamentally different. When you're analyzing sales data across 50 million transactions, you don't need every column. You need specific metrics, revenue date, product category, those types of things. Column-based storage like Delta Lake stores data by column, not by row. This means that when you query your revenue trends, you're only reading the revenue and date columns. You're not scanning entire tables for column customer names, addresses, or any other relevant data. The performance difference is staggering. A query that takes four hours with row-based thinking completes in 30 seconds with column-based optimization. Companies pay premium salaries for engineers who understand this difference. The real world impact that gets you promoted is this. Here's a story that shows the brutal reality. A customer was spending 50K monthly in Databricks compute because junior engineers were writing inefficient queries. They brought in a senior engineer who thoroughly understood column-based optimization. Within two weeks, they restructured their de delta tables with proper partitioning and column pruning. Monthly costs dropped to 12K. That is $456,000 in annual savings. She got a 40K raise and a promotion to lead data engineer. This is why companies pay premium salaries for column-based storage expertise. It's not just technical knowledge. It is real business impact. Delta Lake and Databricks takes column-based storage to the next level. It's not about performance. It's about reliability, versioning, and asset transactions on Delta Lakes. 
Junior engineers see Delta Lake as another file format. Senior engineers understand it's a complete data architecture that solves enterprise scale problems. They know how to implement column pruning for query optimization, Z ordering for data clustering, liquid clustering for automatic op optimization, and time travel for data recovery. In addition, you also have some schema evolution for changing requirements that come up. When you can walk into an interview and explain how you use Delta Lake's column-based architecture to reduce query times by 90%, you're not competing with junior engineers anymore. You're competing with senior architects. Here is the secret that separates good engineers from great ones. Column-based storage compresses better than any row-based storage could. Why? Because similar data types cluster together. In a revenue column, you have millions of decimal numbers. Column-based compression can achieve 10 to 1 ratios. In row-based storage, each row has mixed data types, limiting compression to 3 to 1. This means that your data lakes are smaller, your queries faster, and your storage costs lower. Senior engineers who understand this principle are designing systems that scale to petabytes while junior engineers are still struggling with terabytes. Here is your 90-day column-based career jump plan. Days 1 to 30, foundation shift. Stop thinking in rows. Start every data project by asking, which columns do I actually need here? Practice with your current data sets. Rewrite your existing queries to only select the necessary columns. You'll immediately see improvements. Set up Delta Lake and Databricks Community Edition. Create sample tables and practice column printing, partitioning, and Z ordering. Build these three portfolio projects that demonstrate column-based optimization. In days 31 through 60, use advanced column techniques, learn liquid clustering and automatic optimization features, study compression algorithms, and understand why column-based storage compresses better. Start measuring query performance improvements and cost savings. Practice explaining the business impact of column-based architecture. Calculate actual cost savings from your optimizations, and this is what you'll discuss in your interviews. Finally, day 61 to 90, interview preparation and job search. Here, you are going to prepare real-world examples of how you've optimized column-based storage. Update your LinkedIn with specific achievements. Re things like reduced query time by 85% using Delta Lake column pruning or save 38K annually through column-based architecture optimization. Start applying to roles at this point that specifically mention Databricks and Delta Lake. Target companies with large-scale analytics workloads where column-based expertise creates immediate value. When they ask you, how would you optimize a slow-running analytics query, junior engineers, they end up talking about indexing, while senior engineers explain column pruning, partitioning strategies, and compression ratios. When they ask, what's your experience with Delta Lake, junior engineers mention file formats. Senior engineers discuss asset transactions, time travel for data recovery, and how column-based architecture enables liquid clustering. Practice explaining these concepts in business terms. Don't just say, column storage is faster. Say, column-based architecture reduced our monthly compute costs from 50k to 12k while improving query performance by 90%. Look, here's the brutal reality. While you're watching this video, there are engineers out there right now getting promoted because they already understand column-based storage architecture. They're not necessarily smarter than you. They just understand what companies are actually paying for. The shift from row-based to column-based thinking isn't a technical upgrade. It is a career upgrade. Companies need engineers who can design systems that scale to petabytes, not just terabytes anymore. They need engineers who think about compression ratios not just query syntax. You have two choices. You can keep running queries for the same MySQL and Postgres bootcamp that you graduated from, wondering why your career isn't advancing, or 
you could spend the next 90 days mastering the column-based architecture that separates senior engineers from junior ones. If this breakdown opened your eyes to why you've been stuck at junior level salaries, subscribe to the Data Engineering channel. I give you the brutal truth about what it actually takes to succeed in this field. No theoretical concepts, just the technical skills that translate directly to salary increases. And if you're serious about making this career jump, I've linked the additional resources in the description. Your 180K Databricks engineer salary is waiting, but only if you're willing to stop thinking in rows and start thinking in columns.